Hi everyone, Wolf Void here with another Battlefield 4 upload video. This time round, I'm doing my top 10 tips for those new players and those that are slightly more familiar with the game. Here at number 10, we have Practice. The test range is available in the multiplayer menu and here you can use every vehicle, gun and setup to your heart's delight and the mistake won't cost you a thing. Here at number 9, Flanking. The advantage of Battlefield is its size and the ability to deploy almost everywhere. So try going around groups of enemies. You'll always get the advantage if you're shooting from a blind spot or if you catch them by surprise. Number eight. Evaluate, keep an eye on your hood and hold the menu button to bring up the large map. Always check enemy positions and look for gaps. Above the minimap shows which objectives are in danger when they pulse quickly. Number 7. Accuracy. Burst fire can be dependent on your weapon, but it can also be manually fired by trigger tapping. It's much more accurate than spray and pray. Also, the DMRs after the recent patch are a lot more effective now, so don't be afraid of using them. Keep cool and shoot straight. Number 6. Smoke. If your team is on the back foot, switch to non-lethal smoke grenades and arm up with an infrared or thermal scope. In this low visibility, you can sneak through enemy lines and still see where you're going. Number 5. Stealing. We all know tanks are useful, so why not steal a tank and stop the enemy using it whilst you use it against them? Number 4. Strength. Try to at least be able to use two classes of infantry well. The advantage would be if you knew all four like the back of your hand, but if you find you're not helping out the team with your current class, at least you can switch it up. Always try and play to your strengths. Number 3. Squads. Make friends and listen to your squad leader. Working together means higher scores. Higher scores means better ranks and higher ranks give out more unlocks. So always work together and try and find a good squad. In at number 2. Command. A good commander or squad leader understands the responsibility given to them so some organisation is critical to these roles. Don't take the hot seat unless you absolutely know what you're doing. In at number one, PTFO. I'm not going to explain the acronym, go look it up. But the gist is play the game type you're in. If it's obliteration, don't just snipe, move the bomb. In conquest, capture and defend the weakest points. In rush, hammer or defend those MCOMs as best you can. If your team is losing, it's up to you to change the parameters of the battlefield. I hope you enjoyed the video folks, and remember if you want to follow me or browse my clips, the option's coming up. You won't see me on the battlefield, because I'll see you first. Wolfoid, signing out.